Remember the deal, Corey. You get the president to do a Pantera album tier list, and I'll be Slipknot's new drummer. Now where's that damn tier list? Jesus, Phil, all right, I'll get the tier list. They'll do anything for me. They're scared of our mosh pits. That's cute. You think a Slipknot mosh pit is anything compared to a Pantera mosh pit. But if you don't get that tier list, you masked, sell out, then you'll find out what one of those is like. Oh my God, Phil, don't do it. I have kids, dude. Corey, who the hell are you talking to? See, Donald, I told you, everyone has voices inside their head. Joe, I'm in another call, you brain dead nutsack. On a completely unrelated subject, what do you guys think of doing a Pantera album tier list? Wow, that came out of nowhere. Eventually, yeah. But I thought we'd rank some more stuff before that. Well, you political nuthuggers thought wrong. Rank Pantera or feel my vulgar display of power. Holy shit, it's Phil Anselmo. Obama, give him what he wants. We may be huge fans, but Phil scares me more than Corey, Putin, and Kim combined. That's Mr. Philip H. Anselmo to you, you racist Oompa Loompa! Now stop wasting time and rank the first fucking album! Jesus, Phil, you need fucking anger management. Anyway, which first album are we talking about? Do we include the self-released 80s albums? Or do we skip and go straight to the studio albums and start with Cowboys from Hell? How the fuck did you run our nation with questions like that? Obviously, we're ranking the albums people give a shit about. So Cowboys from Hell is first. None of that 80s glam metal shit. We hadn't found our true sound yet. Since I worked on all these albums, I'm going to listen to you incompetent bell ends before I give my opinion. Gentlemen, discuss. And be very careful with what you say. You guys better listen to him. The last time a president pissed off Phil, he stole a time machine, went back to the 1880s, and shot him in a theater. I forget his name. I think it was like Abraham or something. I don't know. Anyway, Cowboys from Hell came out exactly when it needed to. Metallica were about to release the Black Album and, in my opinion, sell out. But Pantera released this amazing record to show that even if Metallica and other metal bands go soft, 90s kids still had Pantera. This album's is one of the most legendary of the 90s up there with Korn's self-titled album and Nirvana's Nevermind. This album was a perfect start, so I think S-tier... Sorry, Corey, but I have to disagree. I don't think this album is S-tier. What the fuck did that orange shit stain just say? Phil, calm down for five minutes and let me explain. I agree Cowboys From Hell was the perfect album to start both the new decade and the new thrash slash groove era of Pantera. There's really nothing wrong with this album. Dimebag Daryl's guitar playing is 100% flawless, just like always. Rest in peace, Dimebag. But compared to the next few albums, especially Vulgar Display of Power and Far Beyond Driven, Cowboys really has no competition. A few of the lyrics are a little cheesy, especially keeping to the cowboy theme of the first single. But the guitar is still a fucking gift from God. So I would say A tier. Back when it first came out, it would be S tier. But now that we have the other albums, it gets bumped down to A tier. You're out of your fucking mind, Donald. Cowboys is S tier. Joe, are you just saying that so I don't tear your fucking arms off? All right, you got me. I think this album is a tier two, but only with the hindsight of the future albums. I fucking knew it. Phil, relax. All it means is you outdid yourself. You should be proud of that. Not many bands can say that. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I guess I can live with that. So next is Vulgar Display of Power. Now, if anyone says this album is any lower than S tier, then I will throw you off the top of the fucking Matterhorn at Disneyland. This album should be S tier just for having Walk on it. Agreed. Walk is arguably the greatest guitar riff ever recorded, and it's only two fucking notes. That's the magic and talent of Dimebag Daryl. When guitar players today go into sound check, they always play Walk to test the guitar's sound. That's how fucking iconic the song is. This album would be S tier just for having Walk on it, but it has so many other badass tracks. The my vulgar display of power is so fucking good. Put it in S tier right fucking now. Not to mention this album wasn't afraid to have more melodic songs that move into heavy like Hollow and This Love. That was something that was tested on Cowboys with Cemetery Gates, which don't get me wrong, is still one of my favorite uh, Pantera songs, but Hollow and This Love, I think are better, especially Hollow. The writing is so fucking good behind that song, you can really tell what the story is of that song, and you're invested in it while you listen, and eventually head bang to it. Cowboys was good, but Vulgar Display of Power is fucking legendary. It goes into S tier. Now we can move on to Far Beyond Driven. Oh, fuck yeah. This is by far my favorite Pantera album. I'll even go as far to say it's one of the best albums ever made. There's a reason this was the first metal record to hit number one. That's because nothing before or after even comes close to it. 
S tier this album right fucking now. If you don't, then I can't guarantee what Phil will do to you. I can. You see, the album cover was the last guy who pissed me off before we made the record. I still have that drill. I just shat myself. Joe, that is fucking gross. I don't want to hear about your century-old colon. Just give your opinion on the album before I shove your diaper up your fucking ass. That's kind of hot. The fuck? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone shut that perverted old bastard up. How the fuck did I allow this man into office? Anyway, Far Beyond Driven is also my favorite Pantera record and easily in my top five records ever made. By this time in a band's career, the label pressures them to go more radio friendly and become more of a pop rock band instead of a metal band. Metallica went soft, Linkin Park went soft, hell even Slipknot went a little softer after Iowa. Oh, for fuck's sake, I lost my fucking voice, okay? Give me a break. Yeah, Corey, I know and understand that. But you can't deny that volume three is softer than self-titled or Iowa. Anyway, Pantera is the only band I can think of who stayed heavy throughout their whole career. This album showed that Pantera are never going soft and will remain one of the greatest heavy bands to ever live. S tier this album right fucking now or I will drone strike Trump Tower. What the fuck, Obama? I didn't even say anything. Of course, this album is a tier. Now call off the fucking drone strike. No, keep the drone strike on standby. If Trump says anything to piss me off about the next record, then press the button. Anyway, next is the great Southern trend kill. Damn, this was a dark time in the band's career. My back was fucking killing me for years. I was taking painkillers every day. There was a huge wedge between all of us because of it. Rex, Vinny, and Dime recorded the guitar, bass, and drums back in Texas. And I recorded vocals in Trent Reznor's studio in New Orleans. It was really a dark time in the band's history. So treat this album with fucking respect. Of course, Phil. After all the trauma you had to go through, this album deserves nothing but our respect. This album has my favorite Pantera song, Floods. Is that because every other Pantera song is too heavy, so you go for the slower ones? Trump, don't you fucking dare disrespect Floods. However, compared to Vulgar and Driven, I think Trend Kill lacks something that those two albums had. Maybe it's because, like Phil said, not all the band was in the studio at the same time. It was recorded in two different studios, making the vocals feel very disconnected from everything else. But aside from the slower tracks, this album is still heavy as shit. It's just that feeling of disconnect that keeps me from listening to this album as much as the others. Phil, can you settle for A-tier? Put it wherever you want. Like I said, Trend Kill was a dark time for me, so I really just want to put it in A-tier and be done with it. Now, can we please move on to Reinventing the Steel? Of course, Phil. Sorry for making you relive that. Anyway, Reinventing the Steel has Revolution Is My Name on it, one of Pantera's most badass songs. That automatically makes it S-tier. Agreed? Agreed. That song is an S tier on its own. So with that, I guess we're done with Pantera. So, Phil, do you want to say or I guess scream the outro? Fuck you, you walking Cheeto. I don't scream all the time, but fine, I'll do the outro. Be sure to subscribe to Danimation so you don't miss future animations, gaming, reviews, and of course, more AI Presidents videos. Presidents and Phil Anselmo out. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, now that those dicks are gone, I can fix this dog shit tier list. Now that is the definitive Pantera tier list. No fucking president can tell me what tier my fucking albums are.